Proverbs chapter 15. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools pour it out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach of in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he that regarded reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the, rev the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish do it not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that had it reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of the children of men? A scorner loveth not one that reproved it him, neither will he go unto the wise. A merry heart make it a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that had understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouths of fools feed it on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart had a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. A wrathful man stirred it up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. The way of the slothful man is as an hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteousness is main plain. A wise son make it a good gla a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. But a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors they are established. A man had joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season, how good it is. The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thought of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hated gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studied to answer but the mouth of the wicked poured out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoiced the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The, the ear that heareth the reproof of life abided among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despises his own soul. But he that hear it reproof get it understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 16 The preparations of the hardened man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord had made it all things for himself, yes, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord, though hand joined 
in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy the truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with right. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his steps. The divine sentence is in the lips of the king, his mouth transgresses not in judgment. A just, a just weight and balance are the Lord's, all the ways of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings and they love him that speak it right. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. How much better it is, is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil, he that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handled a matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. The wise man the wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increases learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that had it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and added learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. There is a way that seem it right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that labored labored to for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and his in his lips there is a burning fire. A froward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separated chief friends. A violent man entices his neighbor, and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to devise forward things, moving his lips, he bringeth evil to pass. The hoary head is, is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 17 Better is a dry morsel, and quietness there, therewith, than a house full of sacrifices with strife. A wise servant shall have a rule rule over a son that causeth shame, and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. The fining pot is for silver, and the furnace for gold. But the Lord trieth the hearts of a wicked doer, giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. Whoso mocketh the poor reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. Excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips at lips a prince. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that had it, who with whithersoever it turneth, it prospereth. He that covered a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeated a matter separated very friends. 
A reproof entered more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. An evil man seeketh only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Let it bear robbed of her whelps meet a man rather than a fool in his folly. Whoso rewarded evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is as when one let it out water. Therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he had no heart to it? A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man void of understanding striketh hands, and becometh surety. In the presence of his friend, he loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalted his gate seeketh destruction. He that had a froward heart findeth no good, and he that had a perverse tongue fallen into mischief. He that begotten a fool do it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool had no joy. A merry heart do it good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dry it the bones. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that had an understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her that bear him. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princes of iniquity, equity. He that had knowledge spared his words, and a man of understanding is an excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Proverbs chapter 18 Through desire a man, having separated himself, seek it and intermeddled with all wisdom. A fool had no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy reproach. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked, to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth call it for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are as words, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city and as an high wall in his own conceit. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. He that answered a matter before he hear it, it, it is folly, and shame unto him. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. He that is first in his own 
cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. The lot causeth contentions to seize and parted between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtain favor of the Lord. The poor use it in treaties, but the rich answer it roughly. A man that had friends must sue himself friendly, and there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. Chapter 19, Proverbs chapter 19. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is preserved in his lips, and is a fool. Also that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good, and he that hasted with his feet sin it. The foolishness of man perverted his way, and his heart fretted against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursueth them with words, yet they are wait wanting to him. He that Getted wisdom, love it his own soul. He that keep it understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delighted is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man deferred his anger and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a contential dropping. House and riches, riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness cast it into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despises his ways shall die. He that had pity upon the poor lend it unto the Lord, and that which he had given will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Her counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in the latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tended to life, and he that had it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that had understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasted his father and chased away his mother is a son that cause it shame and bring it reproach. Seize my son to hear the instruction that cause it to err from the words of knowledge, 
An ungodly witness scorned judgment. The mouth of the wicked devoured iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Proverbs chapter 20 Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of a king is as the roaring of a lion, whoso provoked him to anger, sin it against his own soul. It is an honor for a man to cease from strive, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold, therefore shall be he beg in harvest and have nothing counsel in the heart of, a, of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find? The just man walketh in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. The king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattered away all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin? Divers' weights and divers' measures, both of them are like abomination to the Lord. Even a child is known for his, by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. The hearing a the hearing ear and the seeing eye of the Lord had made even both of them. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thy eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. It is not, it is not, said the buyer, but when, when he is gone his way, then the boasted, there is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Every person is established by counsel, and with good advice make war. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets, therefore meddle not with him that flattered with his lips. Whoso cursed his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in absurd darkness. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. Say not, though I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Divers ways are in abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his way? It is a snare to the man who devoured that which is holy, and after vows to make inquiry. A wise king scattered the wicked, and bring it the wheel over them. The spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upholden by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes in the inward parts of the belly. Chap Proverbs chapter 21 The king's heart is in the, the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithsoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondered the hearts. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. A high look and a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. 
The thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteous, but of every one that is hasty only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek it death. The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them, because they refuse to do judgment. The way of a man the way of man is forward and strange, but as for the pure, his work is right. It is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. White house. The soul of the wicked desired evil. His neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise, and when the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. The righteous man wisely considered the house of the wicked, but God overthroweth the wicked for the wickedness. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. A gift in secret pacified anger, and a reward in the bosom strong wrath. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous, and the transgressor for the upright. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. There is treasure to be desired, and oil in the dwelling of the wise. But a foolish man spendeth it up. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life. Righteousness and honor. A wise man scaleth the city of the mighty and casteth down the strength of the confidence thereof. Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. Proud and haughty scorner is his name, who de dealeth in proud wrath. The desire of the slothful killed him, for his hands refused to labor. He coveted greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth the spirit not. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. How much more when we bring it, it with the wicked man? A false witness shall perish, but the man that heareth speaketh constantly. A wicked man hardened his face, but as for the upright, he directed his way. There is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord.